Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Git LFS. What is Git LFS? It is a library in GitHub to help you send huge file to GitHub. For example, if your videos is over 100 megabyte, it cannot be sent it, but if you install Git LFS, you can send it. Now, some people might um, install Git LFS with Git LFS install and they added the file to commit for example git add.mp4 or git add the folder they that contain the large file they still get a failure or an error that's because they did not migrate the file first you guys need to use a command git lfs migrate import include and the path to the folder with the large file and today I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, here I open a repository. I initialize this as my repository, as a git repository. And you can see this is an HTML file and this is a mp4 file with exceeding size 104 megabytes. But GitHub can only send 100 megabytes files. So how do we send here? send this to the repository we use git lfs so let's just say i am making this website and i'm making a video element and i just goes like video trailer i add this video without realizing that this is exceeding the limit i just save it i commit the change okay Okay, now let's just say okay I made I added some change I added this file and let's just say I want to publish it to my github library here and when I press publish publish is the same as pull and push so I'm sending this file to the github repository right here but I didn't use git lfs yet so there will be some problems we will wait for the problem to arrive while waiting for the error i'm going to cut the video okay as you can see there is an error saying cannot push refs to remote try running pull first to integrate your chains so if we check the show command output we will see that git show this error file video trailer traveloka 2.mp4 is 104 megabytes this exceeds GitHub file size limits of 100 megabytes. So he told us to maybe use Git LFS, some kind of library to help us. This is true. We can follow this link and download it ourselves or use the terminal. I'm going to use the terminal. Okay. So here I'm going to open terminal. New terminal. Let's just use PowerShell. Here we are going to write in the terminal git lfs install to install git lfs. If we get this message, that means the git lfs is installed successfully. Now, if we write git lfs track. dot mp4 it will tell git lfs to track this specific file with dot mp4 format the star is saying all so this video will be added to the lfs tracking if we press enter a new file named dot git attribute will be added this is the file that lists all of the file that is going to be sent through the git lfs server so you must add every file that has too much size above 100 megabytes here and here i'm i am i am including it so i'm going to commit it yes it will stage it automatically added git lfs to send large files okay 
now we are going to publish the branch and we are going to wait for another error message okay as you can see here I just publish the repository and it say another error the same as the last and we check show comment output it say file video trailer 2 is it's the same the file is too large above 100 megabytes but we already installed it right what's happening you forgot to add another command it's called git migrate git lfs migrate import yes it's too long include star for all file dot mp4 and we press enter this might take a while so we just wait for some times okay done now if i see git attribute it might be changed nope it's not changed okay now we are going to use this special command git push force and we press enter this command is the same as this click of a button so this is cli this is gy but as a full programmer use cli okay it seems like the error site has no upstream branch i need to remove some file okay you know what let's just use publish branch it is the same okay it's done okay since the commit is already done we went to the github and it said master hub reason pushes to me to go let's go to master branch and this is our new files and that's how you push files to the github 